Oh, this is the light. Oh my gosh. Oh, these bubbles. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. Wait a second. Wasn't I supposed to be doing something today? Yeah. place like this in Buffalo. I really want to talk about the Shea and Me restaurant. The Shea and Me actually is a really, really cool restaurant. It brings in a lot of, you know, local business. It's so, super fun to meet everyone that comes in. But then when it transitions to that nighttime, that weekend, it's a really, really awesome vibe in here. We love the name. Shea and Me yeah. means house of friends. So it was, you know, originally on Delaware Avenue. People come in here all the time with memorabilia from their parents or their grandparents. And, you know, this is where my parents first went on their first date or where they first met. So kind of like recreate that in a modern vibe. It's super fun. And like you said, there's nothing like it in Buffalo. So you guys have a rotating bar. Do people get seasick on that? <laughs> <laughs> they say rotates once every hour and okay. seven minutes, but the fun fact is that Shea and Me had Western New York's original rotating bar, and that one did a rev revolution every seven minutes. Ooh. So I can imagine that people would get seasick on that. People love it, honestly. People come just to kind of check it out. Tell me what a Curtis Hotel staycation would be. We call ourselves a lifestyle property. Once you come, you don't want to leave. Then we're really bringing Buffalo to the map here. So staycation, you get to escape, but you're not too far. You know, you only have to drive 20 minutes. So when you're here, you can access the rooftop bar, which is just absolutely stunning. Then you can come downstairs for brunch. We yeah. have a complimentary extended continental breakfast. You can come to the rotating bar. There's our ultra high tech rooms that I personally would just never want to leave anyway. And then of course, you know, the urban hot spring. You guys have hot springs? We do have hot springs. You should check those out sometime. <laughs> you guys have a very extensive menu at Shea and Me, and what is your favorite dish to eat? I love, love the scallops. Chef James just makes them to perfection. Well, I'm gonna go in the kitchen, I'm gonna see how he does it, and then I plan on eating those scallops. Thank you so much. Okay. My name's James Brown, I'm the executive chef here at Chez Ami at the Curtis Hotel. Uh, today we'll be making demo scallops uh, with a salad and couscous. So first thing we're gonna do here is we have some pre-cooked uh, couscous with a little red uh, bell pepper and some shallots in there. We're going to uh, heat this up with a little salt and pepper, a little veg stock. And while that's going, we'll start our scallop. We're gonna carefully place our scallops in the pan, a little salt and pepper, and then we'll add fresh thyme and cold butter very carefully. And then we will bathe our scallops with brown butter. And uh, once we've you know, bathed them for a couple minutes, they should be good to go. Okay, now we're gonna go and make our patouche salad, which is a traditional Lebanese salad. So first we're gonna add a little frisée just to kind of bulk it up. And then we'll add our cucumbers, our baby heirloom tomatoes, our feta cheese, our red onions, and then the mint, which is the most important part. You don't wanna chop this, you wanna leave this whole. Um, so just kind of break it up with your hand to release the essential oils. And then last but not least, uh, we have a little bit of lemon sumac vinaigrette and some salt and pepper. Now we'll start plating our dish. Okay, so first I'll put a little bit of uh, couscous down the middle of the plate. We'll put our scallops down. Okay, and now we have a little bit of harissa aioli. Uh, harissa is a Moroccan uh, pepper paste. And then last but not least, we'll put our uh, fatou salad in the far corners of the plate. And that is our gay boat scallop dish at Chez Ami. This is like so buttery and just the right amount of chew, the right amount of char. Chef James Brown killed it. Summer was so right about these scallops. Thanks to everyone at the Curtis Hotel. This place was amazing. And I think it's the start of a beautiful staycation.
Ah, this may be my favorite episode yet. 